Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. This beginner workout, we're doing some upper body strength training with a combination of some active rest. So here's the format today. We'll do 30 seconds of work with 10 seconds of rest in between, but we're going to repeat each exercise for three rounds right in a row, okay? So we'll do three sets of one exercise in strength, and then we'll move into cardio. This way we can focus on those muscles a little bit more and then kick the heart rate up. You're gonna require a variety of dumbbells for the workout today, and here are the dumbbells that I suggest you might use as a beginner, but as always, lift within your own abilities. I'll start you with a warm up and we'll end with a cool down. All right, ready to move daily? Me too, let's do it. put strength or intervals on your watch. I'm gonna do interval training. Let's warm things up with a shoulder circle to start. And switch directions. I like the three repeater. It's fun because you get a little break in between. You don't switch weights or anything, but a little break and then back to the same exercise. Right here, switching sides. So you get a little bit of that progressive overload, but we have a shortened time period in that 30 seconds, so it's not too bad. Switch directions. Anyway, it's a little fun. It kind of feels like a no repeat because you're doing that, then moving on and not coming back to that exercise. So it makes it a little fun. Okay, arms are out. Let's do one behind the head, one behind the back, and switch right here. Big stretch. Two more here. Nice. And front and back bends. Knees are soft. You'll hinge forward and gently press those hips forward. I'm gonna stretch my arms out right here. Just reach, reach, reach. Good. Just waking up this morning. Maybe you're just hopping out of bed. Right to the workout. Love it. One more here. Good, let's tap across here. Up and over, right here. Good, and finishing with our torso turn. All right, we're gonna start with cardio because I wanna increase the blood flow a little bit more. There's the first exercise and here we go. Starting with that cardio, let's go into a heel dig. For the three rounds, I'm just gonna switch hand positions, so follow me. But otherwise, we'll just start with a nice little forward tap, push, kicking heart rates up. All right, here we go. All right, and tap. If you don't need rest, you can tap in between. Of course, you can rest in between. Whatever works, we're tapping to the side this time. Here we go, here, here. Let's go. Good way to warm the arms up as well. You'll feel the burn shortly with this isometric hold in the shoulders, holding weight and tension in your arms by not putting them down. That's fire. and rest those arms. Okay, now we'll heel, push to the front and to the side. All right, here we go, and we're front and side. Front and side, that's it. 
Don't shrug, keep your shoulders low. Okay, shake it out. We're moving into a curl press. I'll hold fives. You can do twos, threes, fives, eights. Here we go. And we curl, press, and then down. So neutral grip. Palms are facing your body the whole time. Elbows are in. And knees are soft. Okay, rest those arms. Now you're thinking about the weight amount. Was it too easy? You can bump it up. Was it too hard? You can drop it down. Round two. Curl. Press. And rest, roll those shoulders back. Round three, then we'll go back into cardio. Shoulders back, knees are soft, and we curl, press. Good. Set those down. Cardio. You're going into grapevine. So we'll step behind and hit that knee right there. Step behind and knee or step behind and tap. Whatever works for you. I'm going to kick it up a little bit by adding that knee. Round two. And tap right here. Round three. We're gonna make our way down to the ground next for our tricep press extension. Okay, I think I'll hold eight. You can go lighter if you need. Okay, fives, eights, threes, whatever you can tricep extension. On your back, palms are facing, and press to the ceiling. So we press, and then back at the elbow, press and down. Press up, extension, up and down. Try not to bounce your elbow off the ground, okay? We'll stay down here again for a full three rounds. And 
rest. Okay, round two. Remember to keep those wrists locked and neutral. Don't let them bend back with the weight in there. And press up to the ceiling, back of the elbow, ceiling and down. Good, just rest. Okay, last round here. And then we're gonna stay down here for an ab exercise as part of the upper body, okay? Here we go, press it up, back, up, and down. Stay down here. Let's go into that flutter kick. Hands under the bottom, alternating the legs right here. Get ready and controlled. Here we go. Now, if this is too challenging, you can just do a little movement at the top instead of the full flutter, okay? Just do a little partial flutter. I'm thinking of putting my back into the ground here so it doesn't arch. And rest, give those knees a hug. All right, stay here, round two. Hands under if you wish, and flutter right here. Does anyone else get a little hip popping? That is normal, a lot of people do get that, right? As long as there's no pain associated with it, you don't want the pain, okay? Sometimes it can mean that that hip, ball, and socket hasn't warmed up enough. And if it's something that's usual for you, make sure you do a good hip warm up before exercises like this. And hug. One more here, and then we're gonna take a water break and make our way back up to standing. All right, and work, flutter. Okay, a little hug. Make your way to standing. You've got a little water rest, and we'll go right back in to your cardio. Going into some front kicks. Boom, boom, back kick. Boom, boom. All right. Get ready for this. Two front, two back. You're here and here. And tap, round two. And here. Last one, then we'll move into some shoulders.
Nice, let's go into that shoulder front lateral raise. Twos or threes, I think I'll hold threes here. Okay, starting with that front. So you're here, out to lateral, front and down. So you wanna stick the chest out and keep those shoulders away from the ears. Don't shrug. Good. This could also be done without weight if you find the two or three pounds too heavy. Okay. Okay, roll those shoulders. You could also do one arm at a time. It makes it a little bit easier than doing both, okay? Here we go. And we're up, out, center, and down. Into cardio, you're going into three butt kicks per side. So three, two, one, then switch sides. And three, two, one, switch, three, two, one, that's it. If you need your arms a rest right now, you're here. Okay, that's fine too. Okay, just to kick it up a little bit on round three, I'm gonna do front punch, overhead punch, front punch. Stick with the front punch if you wish. So you're one, two, three and switch. One, up, front and switch. your bicep curls. I'll hold eight pounds, narrow, wide curl, palms face the ceiling. So we curl right here and then we'll take it out to the side and curl right here. Elbows stay close to your body.
shoulders back. You got one more here. Knees are soft and curl right to the front and the side. Let's go into our three repeater for cardio. Sorry, knee repeater, knee repeater. We're just gonna stay on the same side until I call half. Here we go, we drive and drive. Okay, nice flat back and stay a little lower. Keep some tension on that glute on that stationary leg. A few more, four, three, two, one. Switch your side and drive. Let's go. Pump those arms. Nice, tap it, shake it. <laughs> Arms are feeling that bicep curl. Round two, other side, and drive. Back is flat, stick your chest out. Four, three, two, one, switch here. <coughs> more. Feeling that one in the glute cheek. Okay, drive here. Four, three, two, one, switch here. into triceps, threes, fives, twos, we'll do a step behind with a kick out, shoulders back, step and kick, I've got my fives, but go lighter if you wish, okay, elbows stay up, we're kicking back to the diagonal, flexing triceps as we go. out. Step and kick and kick. here. Starting to feel that in the triceps, most definitely. Keep your back tall and step and kick. kick. So I'm slightly hinged forward, but my back is flat, okay? I'm not rounded in my shoulder blades. Nice, quick water break before our final push. If you need a longer rest, pause the video, shake it out. <laughs> Moving into a duck under cross body punch. If you don't want to duck, you're just gonna be right here, okay? Shake those arms, 
They felt that tricep kickback. Wide stance, duck, punch, and punch. And tap. Round two, take it wide, duck it here. And tap. One more. And wide, duck, and punch. The lower you get, the higher you're gonna kick that heart rate. Let's work. Come on. into your shoulders, you're gonna do a high pull W. It's gonna be whatever you can W. So I'm holding fives. High pull here, now W. Pause and slow. High pull, stick your chest out. W and slow. So no shrugging here again. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. Lift, low, up and slow. Very nice. Round two. Bring that heart rate down a little bit from that cardio. <laughs> here we go. High pull here and W. Pause and slow. Lift. Now dumbbells do not touch each other. They should be a ways apart, okay? Like I'm doing here. So a little ways, good. And up. One more here. And then we've got one more cardio for you. We're gonna kick it up. Let's work. And we lift and double. Setting the weights down, we'll go into our final cardio. You're gonna do two jacks, two frogs. Stick with the jacks if you don't wanna squat. Here we go, let's go. Two, drop for one, two. Nice, up, up, and low. Wide stance here so you can touch the ground if you have the capacity, otherwise reach as low as you can. Up, up, good. Good. This one will definitely kick the heart rate up. Again, eliminate the frog if you need. Round two, here we go. Keep your chin looking at me. You don't wanna round the neck. 
Back is flat, up, up, whoa. One more, everyone. Stay with me, doing well. Heart rate's climbing. And one, two, drop for one. seconds. Stay in the pocket. Push, push. Let's go, folks. You got this. Three, two, one, and done. You have moved daily in your upper body cardio session. Three, repeater. Join for a stretch if you can. Good job, folks. Let's make our way down to the ground and we will hit a little stretch here. I want you to grab one knee, stretch a leg, and try to draw this ankle up toward you to increase that stretch in your inner thigh. That uh, is a good one. <laughs> it's a good one. Oh, I need to do this one more. I'm having a little bit of an issue in that one inner thigh. Switch sides. See, this side feels fine. So what does it tell you, Trace? You gotta stretch things out a little bit more is what it says. Actually, I have some really good desk stretches. I just need to set my timer and be methodical about doing them regularly, right? All right, mm, both knees in, little circles on the lower back here. Good. Well, I hope that got your heart rate up. It definitely got mine up. We're gonna let those knees fall to one side. So put your arms out on the floor, gently let those legs fall, and I want you to try and keep your shoulder blades on the ground. Okay, you're gonna feel some torso stretching here for sure, thoracic spine. Let's just hold that there because mine is tight. <laughs> Why? What did you do, girl? No, sometimes it just is when you haven't spent time limbering up, as it were, right? Too much time on the dumb computer. I wish, I'm appreciative of it, switch sides, but I also hate that our so much of our world is on that now. Don't you hate that sometimes? <laughs> it's like, I just wanna be outside and look up in the sky and nature. I don't wanna be looking down at my phone and on the computer, but having an international online company, that's the nature of the beast. But that's why I have to have a retreat where we can all go to the Zions and, or the Zion National Park and hike and be outside and not be on our phones. <laughs> Wouldn't that be awesome? Hinge forward at the way street here. Yeah, I need to pull the trigger on that. I've been talking about it way too long now and not doing anything about it. Switch sides, and I, I want to. It's just a little scary because it's a big commitment, right? So you're paying up front for everything and then what if no one wants to go to your retreat? <laughs> That's the fear. It is the fear. And I've had things like that happen before. You know, you think you have support and then you put it out there and you take the risk and you don't. And so that makes you a little bit gun shy sometimes, right? But I, I feel like now someone would surely come. <laughs> Maybe just one or two of you. <laughs> no, uh, I think it would be amazing to meet a lot of you. I mean, anyone, I think it'd be amazing to meet. But I know a lot of you have followed me for many, many years now. And just to all get together would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? And do things that people like us do work out, eat healthy food, have fun, laugh, focus on wellness, focus on nutrition, focus on fitness. Yes, please. That sounds good. I'm talking myself in. <laughs> I'm talking myself into it right now. Okay, let's do it. Oh, one more stretch here. Reach back behind you. Thanks for joining everyone. That was a good little upper body session. We hit, hit a little bit of everything in that upper body. Now, go move daily in your wellness and nutrition, and I'll see you all in the next workout.